Please meet Arvanda. She says she's here to tell her fiance a secret. Arvanda, what's going on? Jerry, I'm a wild, crazy bitch! And I'm here to my Well, I, I didn't hear what you said. What did you say? <laughs> I am a wild, crazy That's bitch! That's what I thought you said. <laughs> I have trouble with my hearing. Yeah, go ahead. So uh, what's going on? Why? I'm here to tell my yeah. fiance that I'm leaving him for his friend that I've been sleeping with for the past month. How long have you been engaged? I've been engaged for the past two months. Okay, so when he asked you and you said yes, that you would marry him, I assume you loved him. Why did... I did love him at one point in time. Like but two then... months ago. What happened? <laughs> what happened during all that time period? He doesn't treat me right. He doesn't treat my kids right. I'm bitter, Jerry. I need sex! Guest, uh, <laughs> okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. I, so now let me see. I asked you, yeah, what happened with your boy? You said yes that you'd marry him, but in the last two months things started to fall apart. What happened? Things started falling apart. I'm tired of him partying. He doesn't have time for me or my kids, and when he does, he treats me like crap. I'm tired of him. I need someone to give me sex. I need sex all the time. Okay. Uh, you've made that clear to all of us here. Uh, he you... doesn't give me good sex, he doesn't. Jerry. He doesn't. No, he doesn't make me like a man like I need to be like a man. <laughs> Why am I asking these questions? <laughs> okay. Uh, is there a... Uh, now, this guy, his friend that you're sleeping with, how did that come about? Well, I've known him for two years. Yeah. And he's been with other people and, like, relationships, and now it's time to let my fiancé know that I want to be with him. And your complaint with your fiance is that you don't get enough sex with him. And the way he treats me and the way he treats my kids. Yeah, and you didn't make an arrangement with him that you would wait, you would save yourself until after marriage. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, this thought never crossed your mind. Okay, let's bring out your fiance. He's not watching, so I guess he doesn't know why he's here. Here he is, Dennis.
How you doing? All right. Je Dennis, welcome to the show. Thank Help you. me out here. I would think, if I were ever on a show, and I wouldn't be on a show, <laughs> but if, if I came on a show and my significant other was standing there with her top off <laughs> on national television, my reaction might be, what, what are you doing? Exactly. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm here to tell you something. I brought you on the show to tell you something. What? I'm here to tell you that I'm a bitch, you can't handle me, and I've been sleeping with your friend that you've known for four years. You little <laughs> ho! Oh, what? You a ho! Why I'm a ho! You kiss my ass! It's all right, it's all good. It is all good, because I can find better. I doubt that. Bigger and better. I doubt that. I don't. Anybody out there, I'm a free man. Now, that's right. Take it off, take it off. So who is it? Don't worry about that. Did you check right into his background it. before you I'm kissed him? I'm sick and tired of no. you not treating me right, not treating my kids right. You proposed to me in my bedroom. You gave me your mom's engagement ring. In my bedroom? In I mean, your come bedroom. On, you could have did it in a crowd full of people. Was there a crowd full of people around at the time? Hey, you could have made arrangements to make it around a crowd of people. I could have. Is there ever a crowd in your bedroom? No. <laughs> Can be. <laughs> okay. You asked her to marry you. You must have known she's a pretty wild woman. I mean, she comes on the show unless she's not normally like yeah. this. So you can't be that surprised that she's sleeping around on you? I am, because for the last seven months, Jerry, I gave this girl everything. I love this girl with all my heart. I dropped my friends for her. I dropped my family for her. You're lying. I'm lying. Where do I go? To the you house party with and your I friends all the time, and you treat me week. like twice all a week. the time. Twice a week, I go party with all my friends. All the time, you work too much. You don't spend time with me, and when you do, you treat me like. Okay, let's bring him out. Here friends. he is, Mike. TV and don't pay no attention to her. You want the little hoe? She cheated on me, she gonna cheat on your ass, so. Whatever you gotta oh, say. When you get hurt, Whatever you, you gotta say. Okay, do you honestly believe she's not gonna cheat on you? I know she's not gonna cheat on me. Seven months after I put a ring on her finger, after I put a ring on her finger, and you don't think she's gonna cheat on you? What? I was supposed to marry I knew more month. than you did in the seven months you've been with her. You did? Yes, like I did. I was, I've been sleeping with her a month. I did twice as much than you did in the whole time you were with her. What do you want to say to her? Vonda. Oh, hell. Um, I want, I love you. I want to be with you. He treats you miserably. He doesn't know what you need, and I do. You know, I, I want you to be there with me every day of my life. Now, what I'm asking you, Vonda. Would you like her? Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> We'll be back.
Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.